damn, I really just cleaned my army up. Fucking hell. <laughs> it was so tempting to fucking watch this already. I still got all my fucking thumbnails I noticed up there. In the top tabs. So you can't see because I haven't recorded mouse cursor, but you can see when they light up. I still need to continue reading Seven Deadly Sins, even though I'm buying the manga every month. It's every four months it comes out, so yes. Hello, this is Animu Life, and get that out of the way. Okay, we're going to be looking at some ru Ruby again. This is episode four, and one thing I noticed is it's only 13 minutes. 13 minutes, it's called. So, that's how it is. Kind of how we pitched the last episode. It was kind of like, oh, that's how it is then. So yes, let's get this bad boy open. Get it done. Oh my god, that's fucking loud. So last episode, we had pretty much the whole history. I'm guessing that we're not going to know that much more. Because it did it in a truthful way than rather through a character, unless that genie was lying. But by the way, that Ozpin, or Ozma, as we found out, it's totally something else. I've got to look. Yeah, I am recording voice. <laughs> I had to fucking make sure on that. Oh god. I wonder how much fights are going to have in this one though. I wonder how she falls in as well. The way that it reflects her and then reflects at Ruby's silver eyes kind of makes that she might be something to do. Well, kind of fell through me thinking that she was Ruby's mum. I thought it was going to end up being something like that. Something mysterious. But then again, her mum might have been one of the original four maidens. As well as silver eyes. I still want to know where that falls in. That kind of confused me because that looks almost like Ozpin. Ozpin that we know, that statue. But it isn't. It's his second incarnation, as you can call it, I guess. I don't think there's going to be that much fighting because it's thingy how they've used... Almost all the clips from the first fucking episode in the opening sequence. Oh my god, that... The thing is, though, it might be Salem... Yeah. It was okay, I guess. Look at her little ears. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. The thing is though, the other incarnations, he fully took over there, conscious by the looks of it. Oh, you just punched a kid. It's like, yeah, Ospin's in there, but fuck me. You betrayed his trust, you can't. It goes to show you how far it's gotten if Crow's turned his back on him now. You saw hesitation in the episodes before, but now he's completely fucking snapped. Oh, fucking hell, here comes Cora. Let's say Katara. The granny is helping the youngling up. <laughs> fucking hell. thing is though, Blake wouldn't have even existed if the fucking humanity weren't refreshed, would it? I wonder how long that humanity's lived for though. Gotta find all their shit, because somehow it was all in the same place. I still can't understand how her bike is in perfect condition.
Here comes the fucking Oscar Ruby ship. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. She'll end up with Jean. She will end up with Jean. Unless Pura takes over fucking Cinder's subconscious. Well, I have a feeling. Might. This episode's gonna be so fucking short, though. It's just gonna be a travel episode, isn't it? Travel brochure insert here. I can't believe the mix of episode, oh, the length of the episodes though. Last episode, twenty six minutes. This episode, thirteen. Well, there's that big arsehole. And Mercury and uh, fucking I forgot what is her name again. Shit. I'm bad at names. Oh, uh, what is your fucking name again? I'm so bad at names. Emerald. Emerald. I can't remember their two names though. <laughs> I'll call him Scorpion Dick. I like it how they haven't really killed anyone yet, though. They've only killed Grim. Ooh. Just kick the shit out of him. You feel so much better. <laughs> I think he might take you up on that offer. <laughs> oh, shipping. <laughs> I love it when they're fucking dickheads, but they do that. Look how that actually added the cut. It's getting better and better every season. It's nice how they actually even added in background effects as well with the Grim flying around. <laughs> Fucking Biakulgan. 2.0. I like it how it's something that was created in that world, though. That foiled her plan. Oh, fucking throw the bast- Look at him, the poor cunt. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I'll go over here. With my lovely moustache. Oh god. Oh, that's where the hands come from. In the opening. The, the, the floor just wants a hug. It just wants the hug so bad. Yes, Emerald. Fucking hell, I didn't think she'd end up thingying her out. You start bleeding. She's gonna dig her fucking nails into her arm now, aren't she? I think I don't get those. How they ain't part grim, surely she'd make a better army if she made them part grim. Cassinda was kind of grim. What a dick. Love, justice, reverence. That was in the fucking introduction. In the trailer. Sorry before my own. <laughs> of course. 
So it was saying it to them then. <laughs> Simply the truth. Either that or I'm gonna fucking kill you. Looks so chuffed with himself. He knows shitting himself a minute ago. I never get how they move with them dresses on. They stole the relic. <laughs> you fared less though. Oh god. Yep, she pissed. I like the effects though. Yeah, I I'd run. Oh god, I thought some. I thought I felt something fucking jump on me then. It's because it's co gotten colder. It was quite warm when I came up here. Just leave and have a meltdown. She's gone to the naughty chair. It's a naughty room. Blow in or blow out? That is the question though. Oh. Surely with the pressure it would blow outwards, not inwards. Was she pulling it towards her? <laughs> Usually when they're showing power, they put out... Oh, that's from the trailer as well. <laughs> I like it how wise has just got like a little tiny scarf. Oh, that's going to avoid the fact that she's freezing her fucking tits off. Literally. The tensions are so fucking high now. I think it's a swing. That's a village. Oh, it's a fucking gate. <laughs> I thought it'd be a swing. Like, should we go on a swing? Bonswick Farms. I'm just gonna rest in some abandoned person's house. <laughs> So it's been a year. So we're looking what? November? Is this in November or December? You're really gonna leave it there? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, they did a fucking artwork of just the trees and the path that they followed. <laughs> That's dedication. Not your dedication. Yeah. Up to the farm. Did the entire drawing. And her throne room. I guess you'd have to with that, wouldn't you? Oh, that's quite cool, because they showed that and then they put it inwards and they've gone, oh yeah, this is here. This is what's underneath it. Kind of expected this episode to be kind of a generic thingy episode. Travelling episode, as you call them. Because last episode had so much information in it. This episode was bound to be one. I don't get why you're fucking going on to that next episode. I've already watched it. <laughs> fucking hell, though. So much happened on that episode. A lot. That's, let's say, last episode. This episode, yeah. But then again, it was only 13 minutes. Like, seriously. You could tell, though, the team isn't how it was. The team was all happy fucking cracking jokes and all that. I don't know whether it's in decline from after Oba died. The kind of humour wasn't there that much anymore. I don't know if that's a reflecting of that or it actually might be how they thingied it. The fact that their trust has kind of been wavered. I also saw on Tumblr that apparently you can actually see 
Blake's scar on her belly where she got stabbed. So they must be planning on using it if they put it there. Oh god! <laughs> oh god, I've got a thingy out for that. Let's see position. Fit to scream. Shit, I didn't mean that. Oh. Fuck me. Position. Oh, fucking hell, I just figured the whole shit up, didn't I? Well, righty then. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Oh, I don't even know how I fucking did this. Like, seriously. Okay. Let's try that. Nope. <laughs> that didn't fix it all. Now I'm seeing my OB fucking ass. Fit. There we go. Look at that beautiful face. Look at it. Look at that fucking beautiful face. Jesus Christ. Only a face a mother would love. My lovely background. <laughs> it's what I did a while ago. But the thing is, the fucking TV paint file corrupted. So yeah, look look at this lovely, lovely face on this side of the screen. Fucking put the OBS down there and all my files. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many fucking files. That lovely face though. So yeah, fucking hell. Thirteen minutes. That was a bit of a <laughs> thing, wasn't it? It's thingy though. It shows that even her trust in. Cinder is kind of thingied. Her fear has overthrown her trust and actually made her blame Cinder. You'd think that her loyalty... It's shown that their loyalty is also cracked. So it isn't just Ozpin. What we might have, though, what it more than likely is setting up for is that they're going to betray her and come to the side of good. I like that I'm ready to kick ass. Everyone's looking like, yeah. And then John's like, that is a pretty sky. Oh, look at the sad kitty. Mm. <laughs> I kind of, I can't agree with Oscar as a character. I still can't agree with him as a character. I really can't. Because... If it happened, it's like, yeah, they kind of had to force it. But the thing is, as well as thinking along the lines of, oh, he's got more to develop. It's like you introduced this character in season four. It's season fucking six now. Oh, God, that face. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's so funny when you pause it. It's kind of too underdeveloped. And the thing is, you know that it's only going to go for nine se. Apparently they've got like nine seasons, I think, or ten. So it's going to go until for three more years. Can 2021. 2021! Or something like that. <laughs> God, some of the freeze frames. So funny. I'd like to do something like this, I really would. I do not have the time. My computer does not have the power, though. I think they need to change up Oscar though. Like seriously, this fucking I've been on about this before, but it's closed. Like seriously. Unless they're gonna do that this season. <laughs> that face just then it was like Yang's pointing and Ruby's like, yeah, she know what she's doing. I can't wait for more development though. Cause they've opened up this whole thing. It's just a matter of when the fight's gonna happen. Like, yeah, we had the fucking kick-ass fight in episode one, but it wasn't the most amazing, spectacular fight. The thing that you want with fights is you want a human fight because human fights have always proven that they're more profound than animalistic fights. You can always fight an animal. It's like bloody Attack on Titan. You can always fight a Titan, but it's the humans that end up fucking you over because they think like you. Like in Walking Dead as well. It isn't the zombies that are going to get you, it's the humans that are going to fucking get you. 
which it proves by talking in every episode too long like I am now she is she pissed to say you have three kids you, you got quite a bod still you got a fucking big ass. Jesus <laughs> that face <laughs> oh god the thing is they haven't killed a single bad guy have they yet really Let's say, you can kind of say accidental death with that thornus cult fucking bloke that got crushed under the pillar. I guess you can say there. But other than that, no. I like, where did all the luggage go? Is Yang just carrying all the luggage and the old old woman? Because why I, I will carry my own shit, thank you very much. And everyone else is just troubling along. Like, yeah. I'm not carrying Jack, fuck. Look at those fucking... I can't believe the scarf, though. It's like, get something, like a jacket, that can cover your breasts. It's like Ruby as well. It's like, yeah, you're showing breasts. Yang and Blake are showing skin, stomach and breast, kind of. Can you imagine getting sunburned in Blake's t-shirt in that... Can you call it a tank? A vest? I don't know. But yeah... It, all, the, all the things are practically showing bibbers. Should we see the bloke version? Oh, is that Crow? Yeah, everyone is. Everyone's showing bibs. <laughs> Crow is as well. <laughs> I like it how though, they've kept them small. Because the thing is, a girl, they're 17. Ruby was 15 at the beginning. They're 17. A girl doesn't grow taller after fucking like 13. I know. Because I fucking measure myself and I still haven't fucking grown. So yeah, don't do that. It's like fucking Kishimoto when he put on a thing. It was written in a data book that Kakashi grew three centimetres or something between Shippuden and fucking the last Naruto the movie. It's like... He's 24. He can't grow. It's like, put that bollocks somewhere else in the book. Also... There's the Blake anthology coming out on the 27th. I think it's 27th this month. So yeah, 27th of November. There you got the Yang anthology that is coming out on in January, I do think. Because it comes out every two months or something. So yes, got that to look forward to. I've already I already ordered all of them. I read the I've read the Ruby one. It's basically a load of artists that have come together and writ done like little short comics about the different characters and one of them that is in there is Kuma. If you don't know who that is she does a really cool Ruby comic on the internet it's called Henceforward. It hasn't been updated lately though so I don't know whether she's gone a bit silent but it's called Henceforward. I'm showing all my tabs. I can't believe I've got them tabs still there. I need to delete so many tabs. I've had them up there for years. Let's see. Yeah, probably years. Yeah, so that'll be more. We've got so many tabs. So yes, this has been Anime Life. If you like, you like it, comment down below. Also, subscribe on It'll help to go. But now it's time to say goodbye, and I'll see you next one. Bye bye. Hey, since you're here, why not check out another video? You can do VAG videos, gameplays, and unboxing. I also do DeviantArt, Twitter, and Twitch. And a lot of live streams, so remember to catch me live if you want to see more of my craziness. Also, remember to subscribe to come on Animu Lifer. That's Animu Lifer for life. Also, remember to like the video and turn on the notifications so that you can get to see my videos first.